Joining us on the broadcast is our special panel of guests, Mr. Ashok Sajjanar, who is a former diplomat, will be with us in just few minutes from now. We have Mr. Ramjad Maulana, who is an activist, also somebody who has participated in these protests. Dr. P. Sarvanamuttu, who is the founder and executive director of Center for Policy Alternatives, a member of the Foreign Policy Advisory Group, is also joining us on the broadcast. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the show. My first question to you, uh, Dr. Sarvanamuttu. What is the course ahead? Do you think it was a huge political mistake to unleash the might of the military forces or the army on the protesters? Yes, I think it was a mistake and it has cast a major block over the possibility of this government returning the country to democratic governance and economic uh, recovery. Hmm. The point is that the protesters are determined to continue with their protests. There should have been debate and discussion. They were willing to give up the locations that they had taken before the army stormed in and kicked them out. So it's really quite unfortunate that this has happened. And, you know, as one of the very first acts of the Vikramasinghe government, it casts serious doubt mm. over the commitment to democratic governments. Mm. As somebody who has observed the foreign policy very closely, Mr. Sajjanar, I'm coming to you. What is the course ahead? How is it that any degree of trust can be restored between the protesters and the present political establishment? You know, there are two things that are being connected. And uh, the first one is the protests, as you said, rightly, yeah. have been going on for the last 100 days or so. But uh, that notwithstanding, there is not a single leader that has emerged as far as these protests are concerned. So the se And the second point is whatever has to be done, it should be done, you know, as the uh, earlier gentleman also said, hmm. uh, through democratic means, uh, through constitutional means. Hmm. So the uh, uh, the letter and the spirit of the constitution has to be respected. Hmm. And I think if uh, there is uh, first an acting president uh, that uh, the country got and then he was uh, uh, chosen to be the president by the parliament, I think the protesters uh, should uh, uh, calm down, give an opportunity hmm. to the uh, democratically uh, installed uh, uh, president yeah. to uh, take matters in his hand, uh, negotiate with the uh, IMF, because hmm. uh, you know only when there is a semblance of stability hmm. and peace and tranquility in the country True. Will uh, the country be able to negotiate either with the IMF, ADB, World Bank or with the other donors? Mm. Uh, so mm. the peace, uh, political peace and tranquility is uh, absolutely essential. For so any kind is, of, for uh, any know, kind of economic recovery of the country. Go on. Yeah, that's a, that's a point very well made, uh, Mr. Sajjanar. Amjad Malana, um, the protests so far have not been in many ways they've been fragmented in nature which is the nature of modern social movements as well but the fact that there is no single unified leadership it makes the negotiation with the present government even more difficult uh, do you think these sustained protests will really lead the country on the right path or perhaps the protesters should allow the government to do their job and perhaps then think of a you know government change through a drama democratic process at the right time discussion at the moment see the common denominator to the protest was that uh, everyone banded together to actually send home the Rajapaksha and end a regime of, that was mired with corruption. Hmm. Um, so it was made up of a diverse melting pot of people from various walks of life and various political ideologies. Yes. So there is no singular leader to the protest, although there are various groups and those groups have uh, their own leadership. Hmm. Um, but with respect to the the, what the previous speaker also mentioned is that we were more than willing to actually give back these protest sites. Mm. We wanted to restore mm. uh, peace and tranquility. That was one of the biggest reasons why yesterday we issued a statement stating that we would be actually uh, releasing and vacating the presidential secretariat, which was the only uh, property, public property that we yeah. were holding on to. Yeah. Uh, and we had released all the other properties as well. Mm. Um, and we released that statement yesterday, expecting to release this property uh, by 2 p.m. this afternoon. Mm. However, this morning, uh, early this morning, when we least expected it, when we expected to actually vacate over the course of today, mm. uh, we were chased away brutally by the military goons of yes. this current president, mm. um, which was unnecessary and unprovoked. 
So in, in terms of actually bring, establishing trust with the people of Sri Lanka, which we actually expected, and we were willing to mutually agree with him on that, mm. um, that, that trust is now far no, from No, and, and you're echoing the same sentiments that Dr. P. Sarvanamuttu and Ashok Sajjanahar both said that there needs to be a certain degree of trust and political stability for any kind of economic recovery of the country. Uh, I just request all of you to stay with us on the broadcast because my colleague Poonima Mamurli is reporting from the ground. She's in Sri Lanka. She's live from Colombo getting us all the updates. Poonima, tell us what you're seeing around you. How's the situation on the ground? Well, there's a calm before the big storm because uh, in many places from the airport towards uh, the, the protest site, there are heavy security deployment, uh, especially in and around the airport. And you can see a lot of security officials deployed uh, at the protest site uh, where it leads to the presidential secretary because that's where many, um, there, that's where many security uh, personnel have been deployed. But in and around, you can see that there's normal movement uh, on the roads, but at certain checkpoints, there are security personnel deployed, uh, but at the moment, the uh, situation is under control because many protesters uh, were, uh, were assaulted uh, in the wee hours today. Uh, some of them have uh, shifted to another venue, but uh, protests are only intensifying and the anger towards uh, Ranil is uh, intensifying considering that uh, there were, uh, there were uh, military troops that raided uh, early today and uh, many of them, including a few journalists, were also attacked. At the moment, uh, at the, moment uh, the situation continues to remain tense in yeah. Colombo uh, and uh, and across Colombo as well, not just at the golf is because police uh, police deployment, security deployment, uh, 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 you can see that in and around uh, Colombo as well. All right, so those are the live visuals that my colleague Poonima Muli is getting us from the ground. Poonima, um, the guests on the show, and we have Mr. Amjad Maulana, who himself has been observing these protests, have been a part of it, says that there was a certain degree of trust or perhaps some middle ground that could have been reached between the protesters and the present political establishment. The manner in which the crackdown was put on the protesters uh, last night is something that was unexpected and uncalled for. After yesterday's incident, uh, an uneasy calm that we can see on the street of Colombo but what are your sources telling you what are the indications from the protesters what can be seen the next 24 hours well protesters were planning to hold a press conference this afternoon and they were also trying to uh, uh, call off uh, the, the protest or leave the protest site, especially the presidential secretariat, mm. uh, which uh, has been occupied by them uh, for more than three months, for more than 100 days. However, even as they promised to ensure that they will vacate the presidential secretariat, like how they did vacate uh, the, the presidential palace as well as the prime minister's office last week, uh, they in fact promised and suddenly this uh, crackdown on protesters assaulting them, dismantling tents uh, that belong to the deaf and dumb. All these uh, have not gone down well with the protesters. They didn't see this coming because they already wanted uh, to hold talks with Ranil and, uh, uh, and his team to ensure that they come to a consensus. However, even before that could happen, uh, uh, the, the, there were sudden raids by the military troops and many protesters say that they were assaulted mm. and those who were trying to record videos of the military troops entering the golf phase, uh, those were the ones who were attacked. A few journalists were also attacked in the process and uh, the situation is tense. There's an uneasy calm uh, at the moment because uh, military yeah. troops uh, have completely occupied the golf phase. Mm. That area is completely blocked on both sides, heavily barricaded on both sides. Punima, my last question to you, uh, you know, apart from this political crisis at the heart